Now you know how to solve and draw phase planes of a prime equals d times x. I think you can guess how to solve a prime equals a times x if a equals pd p inverse. Did you guess? Well, let's do it. Our mass spring system is for some choices of C and K exactly of this form. Let's solve this problem and see whether the solution agrees with our physical intuition. So here we are, x prime equals a times x, x zero is some initial condition and a equals p d p inverse. So what are we going to do? Of course, here we are again, y equals p inverse times x, because this will decouple our system of linear differential equations. y prime yields p inverse times x prime. Since p is a constant matrix, it does not depend on t, which means that when differentiating, you only have to differentiate with respect to x with respect to t. x prime equals a times x, a equals p d p inverse, so, what do we have? P inverse and P cancel out. We have a D, P inverse times X equals Y. So we have Y prime equals D times Y. So this trick decouples the differential equations for the components of X. And we know how to solve the problem for Y. If you have Y prime equals D times Y, we have Y equals e to the power lambda 1, T, 0, 0, e to the power lambda 2t for here times y not. That, was that is what we have done earlier. But if you have y, we know x, because x equals p times y, so x equals p times e lambda 1t, 0, 0, e to the power lambda 2t times y not. But y not equals p inverse times x not. So, here we have our solution for x. But it does not look really nice, so let us try to draw some phase planes as well. So, let's take a matrix A from our mass spring system. We have k over m equals 4, c over m equals 5, so we get minus 4 and minus 5 in the matrix. Uh, let's see what we get for x of t in the end. Well, we have a equals p d p inverse, is d over here and p over here. You should check this, of course. What's our solution for y of t? Well, y of t is of this form, so e to the power lambda 1 t, e to the power minus t, zero is over here, e to the power of lambda 2t minus 4t over here, times y0. So, two incoming directions. And what do we have for x? For x we have p. Here's our p. Times the diagonal matrix. Times p inverse. Well, we're lucky. The determinant of p equals 0, minus, minus 1, plus 1. So the determinant of p equals 1, so the inverse looks not too bad. Change the elements on the diagonal, minus sign of diagonal. So there we have p inverse times x naught. So there we have our, our solutions x of t and y of t. Of course, we want to draw the phase space in order to get an idea of what's going on. First we draw the phase space for y of t. We have two ingoing directions. The red arrows give the two directions along the axis. And this one is becoming smaller uh, really fast. So we are mainly going along the, uh, um, the, the axis, the x-axis over here, because the contribution of the uh, y-axis vanishes fastest. So that's why you have the purple arrows going on along the y1 axis. 
So that's the y picture. And once we have the y picture, we can again draw the x picture. We draw the eigenvectors v1 and v2. The v1, one, one minus one going there. The v2, one, zero going there. Uh, we know the, str uh, the we go along the v1 direction. We have the red arrows going in. And the purple arrows, well, they are basically sort of a combination of the red ones. So if we start over here, we go in and we go in. So what we see is that we are drawn immediately to uh, the, the origin, where x equals 0, v equals 0. So we are drawn immediately into the place where the mass isn't moving anymore at all. Does this, uh, do we understand it with our physical intuition? Well, there's quite some friction over here. So our mass starts to move, but there's so much friction that it almost immediately uh, stops moving. It goes to the origin very fast to the equilibrium point because there's simply too much friction. It cannot go around origin a few times. There's too much friction for that. So yes, uh, we understand that. Of course, the question is, what would happen if we would lower C? Well, we'll see that later.